Girl, are you ready to make the decision that could change everything in your life today? I've seen the transformation in my salon chair and heard your stories in countless YouTube comments and even the transformation that I made for myself. This isn't just about hair color. It's about liberation, self-acceptance, and redefining beauty on your terms. In this video series, we're diving into emotions, fears, and excitement that come with this big choice. And trust me, girl, it's the start of an amazing gray hair journey. The decision you make today could open up a whole new chapter in your life. So stay tuned for this entire video series. So are you ready to discover the freedom in going gray? There's so many different reasons why you women out there go gray. After coloring for so many years, 10, 20, 30 years for some, when you embrace your natural beauty, you have a sense of pride, you have a sense of joy, and it helps you to have a lot more confidence as you're aging. Another reason why you want to go gray is because you're going to save a lot more time and a lot more money on constantly coloring your hair. I would highly recommend if you're still coloring your hair to go and seek out a professional hairstylist. But when you decide to go gray, you save a lot more time. Even though I was coloring my hair myself, I saved a lot more time not having to color my hair every two to three weeks. You can save a lot more time and a lot more money when you decide just to stop coloring your gray hair. And one of the main reasons that a lot of women just decide to make that big choice is because of some of the harsh chemicals that are used in coloring. Now, a lot of people can have a lot of success with their hair and with their scalp when you're coloring your gray hair. But some of you guys out there experience a lot of breakage, you might experience a lot more negative aspects from you know coloring your hair like thinning breakage scalp issues so if you're experiencing all of those things that's a major and a huge reason why i would highly recommend you to make the big choice and just decide to stop coloring your hair so now let's take a look at my girl sharon let's learn a little bit about why she decided to go gray oh why did i go gray i think my I think my hair and my body kind of decided that for me. Didn't realize that I had the gray, the pretty gray that I have until my, it was my stylist. We had been coloring my hair and trying to color it blonde and get that perfect blonde, you know, not too brassy and all of that and make it real pretty. And then one day we just started to notice that every month it was getting harder and harder to find that blonde. And to the point where she was putting the color on and when she would rinse it, it would be like we had put nothing on. It was nothing. So I was like, what's going on? It was a hormonal imbalance going on and my hair changing and it was just saying it's going to do what it wants to do. So we stopped coloring it and then we decided to just cut it. I had already done the big chop. So I was wearing it short. It was natural. It had been natural for about, at that time, about five years. But I was still coloring it. And it was just the prettiest coils. And it was curly. And then it just stopped curling one day. It, 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 none of the products was working. It just wouldn't color. So it wouldn't even coil anymore. It wouldn't curl. So it was changing. And I knew hormonally I was changing. And so it was once I got with my doctor and we figured some stuff out and I don't care what people say, HRT, hormone replacement therapy was a lifesaver for me. It works miracles for me. I don't think I can ever go off of it. And so my hair came out better with it, but it wasn't until my stylist one day when it washed down the sink, when she rinsed it, she was like, look at this color. And I was like, oh, well, what is that? She was like, that's your color. That's your gray. And I was like, she's like, and it's pretty. And I was like, you know what it is. And so ever since then, I was just like, let me stick with my gray. Let me wear my own color. Let's, let's do what it wants to do. I have all this gray, especially in the front. And I got a little bit, just a little bit of salt and pepper in the back. But other than that, people ask me all the time, what color is that? And I'm like, it's just, it's just fine. It's what my hair does. And I embrace it. I love it. Do you love the content that you see on our channel? If so, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also, 
feel free to share the love in our digital gratitude jar. It helps keep this content growing and flowing. After you just made that big choice and you are like, yes, I am ready. The next move and the next step that you wanna take when you're deciding to go gray is finding your gray hair inspiration. Now, you follow bloggers, you follow style enthusiasts. You gotta have a mind of your own also though. Explore social media for women with similar hair textures and skin tones and create a vision board. Even if you find one or two women that look similar to the look that you want to achieve. Look for people in your online communities that you're in. And if you are in our amazing Facebook group, Grown Girls Go Gray, you might even find your inspiration there as well. You don't have to copy. You want to be your own authentic self, but you want to find your inspiration that you want to pattern your look after, but still creating that authentic look for yourself. Let's find out who Sharon's inspiration was when she decided to go gray. At the time when I decided to do this, it was seems like it was a movement. I don't know, it seemed like everybody I knew was going through the change, was hormonal, or was just at that cusp at that time in their life where we were like, forget it, we, it don't matter. What my hair wants to do is what it's going to do, and I'm going to embrace it. So online, there was this influx of Instagram influencers, and then there was Go Gray Be Chic, and it was it was yourself. And I was like, yeah. So all of that came into play and into the time when I really needed it, when I was looking for it. But there were uh, some ladies online, just different YouTubers and di different Instagram. There were even, I find some Asian sisters. There's this one little Asian lady with the little pixie, little bob. I like her and she's in her 60s and she's fly with her clothes. And then I see, I see you yourself um, doing it and talking about how we can play with our accessories and our, our scarves and our jewelry and our necklaces and all of that. And I've always been one to love some clothes to change it up. So I'm like, yeah, I can do this. And, and the whole uh, thing with uh, women being able to wear the red lipstick and wear the darker colors and shades on the lips. And so I've been influenced by that and try to embrace that. I've always been one pretty, pretty comfortable in my skin. So yeah. And just to come along with other ladies and seeing ladies my age and my age group, because I'm 59 and a half, and to see other ladies being able to walk and be like, age is nothing but a number. That's so true. And this gray, you just embrace it. It's beautiful. It's natural. Long as if I love it, everybody else around me will love it. That's the way I look at it. So I guess other gray haired women is what influenced me. If they, they rock it well and they carry themselves well, I'm good with it. That's what influences me. And gives me some confidence. So girl, now what you got to do is craft your grow out game plan. Are you going to do the big chop or are you just going to go cold turkey and stop coloring your hair? Now, some of you guys are not ready for the big chop. You don't want to just cut all of your hair off and I get it, but I'm a short hair girl and I think a lot of you out there are admired by short hair. Sometimes you might want to take that approach, but you might have a little fear. You might have a little doubt in cutting your hair all off. So going cold turkey is just fine, but there are so many different things that you can do during that transitional process that will help you along, help you feel confident and help you actually get through that year, two years, three years, and finally arrive at your beautiful, authentic, natural look. So you want to be able to either talk to your hairstylist or find a professional hairstylist that can help you in the transition. So that transition might look like going cold turkey, meaning you're just not going to color your hair at all and you have these roots that are gray, but then you have your hair shaft that is whatever kind of color that you were actually coloring your hair with. But you want someone that can really help you have a modern look as the gray is growing out. But we're gonna talk more about transition in the next video of this series. What I do have to tell you, if you haven't made the decision and the big choice to go gray yet, there are gonna be a lot of emotions 
There are going to be some ups and downs. You might wake up one day and feel amazing. Then you might wake up another day and be like, okay, this is, I can't do this. And go reach in your bathroom and go to the Target or wherever, Sally's, and get that bottle of color. But hold on. We have a cute little journal that you can jot down your emotions. You can jot down your time frame and your grow out plan all in this journal called the journal for your silver journey. So purchase our journal on Amazon today. Work on your mindset, work on being able to accept you and your natural beauty and everything that goes along with that. And one more thing that may help you along this emotional roller coaster is this video right here that goes through all the emotions that you might be feeling on your gray hair journey. So now let's take a look and listen to how Sharon crafted her grow out game plan. For me, my whole game plan was growing out my hair and deciding that it was going to go gray. I think it helps if you have people around you who also embrace it or who also believe in whatever you believe. I can't imagine if I was getting ready to go gray and had a stylist who didn't support that. Who was like, no, nah, girl, that's old. No, nah, girl, that's going to make you age look. No, nah, we're not going to do that. And they wanted to maybe put some weave in it to cover it up or something. I can imagine how that would make me feel. Uh, that would have been devastating for me. But luckily, I have a stylist who's also a girlfriend, who's also of my age. And she had just went into her journey. She was green in the front. It's so pretty, just right in there. And she had her, um, she was, so she had just started her lock journey. And so we were both going through this transition of just letting our hair do what it's supposed to do. Let it just be natural and do what it's supposed to do. So when I went to her and we were talking about it and how my hair color wasn't taken anymore and she was like yeah something's going on with you with your hormones and everything i said yeah it is it is and we was trying and it just wouldn't work anymore and so she was like let's see what this looks like and when she gave me the mirror and showed me and everything i was like well what's that and she was like that's your hair that's your color and my whole chopping it all off we had did the big chop probably six years prior. So we, I was just fading it. She would have uh, had a little pixie cut. We cut all that off. We would fade it and just have coils at the top. And that was good and until it until it wasn't good anymore. When it decided it didn't even want to curl anymore, it kind of started acting like it was a perm and it wanted to lay down. I was like, okay, so you won't take the color. You won't go curly anymore. What is going on? And one day I was just like, let's just cut it all off. I, I'm like, let's cut it all off and see what my hair wants to do. She was like, you sure? And I was like, yeah. And so that's what we did. So I had the big chop came in stages. Every couple of years, I, I was always keeping it short, you know, faded on the sides and just curly up here. So I always had a nice, clean fade. But then the started cutting the top off because it wouldn't coil anymore was different. I was like, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, I'm just, you know, let's just do it. And we did that. And that worked for us. And she was like, that looks so good on you. And something happened with my confidence in that time too. It was like, you either, you see, everything's exposed then. These cheekbones, these big lips, everything, all of that's exposed. So we got to go with it. We got to love it. And it worked for me so well because I also was going through this journey of working out more. And I was like, I had hit the wall. I wasn't losing any weight anymore. And I was like, oh, but I can't really, I don't want to be sweating out my curls. You know, I would uh, two, two braid, two strand twist it. And then I got to wet it to the gym in the morning. Or oh, can I take it out? No, I'm going to sweat it out then. It's got to look good for work. I said, you know what, cut this off. I don't have time to be worrying about this. And that's kind of what happened with me really chopping it all off and saying, let's, what it's going to do, it's going to do. It's going to be nice hair long or medium or i'm gonna be healthy and i'm gonna lose some weight so i wanted to go to the gym so i said let's get the clippers i even she even told me which clippers to buy i have a set just like what my stylist has at the sun i have it at home so whenever i feel like i buzz it up and let it go like enough is enough While you figure out your grow out game plan, there are several myths that need to be debunked. 
for you on this gray hair journey. First one is that gray hair is considerably dry. And I wanna say that can be true in some instances, but it doesn't have to be true. The best thing is for you to be able to find the right products for your hair to provide the proper moisture levels that you need because you are going to be working with two different textures. You're going to be working with your hair that's growing out on your hair shaft and you're also going to be working with your gray hair, which sometimes have a tendency to be a little bit drier. But as some of you well may know, when you are coloring your hair, your colored hair also has a tendency to be dry as well, depending on what type of color process you've actually experienced. Either you've been bleaching your hair or either you've just been using permanent color. Those two things can have a tendency to dry your hair out as well. If you're using the proper moisture, starting from the shampoo process. So we have to start applying the moisture right at the shampoo level, not after we shampoo and condition. Each step, when the water touches that head, which gives you moisture, you need to have the right products that will moisturize that hair from beginning to end. The next myth that I wanna debunk here is that gray hair ages you. That is not true because I've compared so many different photos online of women before they went gray and after they went gray. And those photos clearly give you an idea of what you could look like for me a lot of my photos that I look at when I was coloring my hair, it's not that I look any older, but I think some of the darker colors that I might have chosen and that you might have chosen while you're coloring your hair, just kind of make you look washed out. And then when I stopped coloring my hair and I went completely gray, I felt like my skin glowed. My skin was a lot brighter. My skin tone looked a lot more youthful with the gray hair as opposed to what it did when I was actually coloring my hair. So ultimately, girl, it's all about the way you rock it. And this other gray hair myth is that gray hair has a tendency to limit your style options because the same fly cuts that you were getting with your colored hair, you can do the same with your gray hair. If your hair is short, if it's a medium bob, or if it's longer layers, and or if you're wearing your hair straight and or textured, the hair can look even flyer to me with the gray hair because it gives it you that total unique look when you have like this big massive head of gray hair, white hair, because it's gonna stand out more and it's gonna bring a lot more attention to you depending on how you actually style it and depending on how well you are caring and maintaining your gray hair with a fresh cut and fresh moisturizing agents and fresh shine on your hair. You can have a tendency to get a lot more reactions and a lot more attention with amazing style and maybe even the same style that you were wearing when your hair was colored as opposed to when your hair goes gray. So now let's hear what Sharon has to say about how she got over these three myths and finally embracing her gray hair journey. I don't know if I've just been lucky enough to find the right products or have such a great stylist who uh, from the beginning when we started seeing the gray, she started using the uh, that purple shampoo on it and she's like keep it moist if that's if you think that's a problem for you but it's never been a problem for me i've always shampooed it with the purple shampoo that she that she uh gets for me and i use it and it mine isn't wiry or you know that's something people always call it wiry or, or yellow so i never had that problem so gray hair doesn't have to be coarse or dry or brittle looking. It can be just as, you know, silky looking as your black hair. For me, I love it. I don't, I don't think it ages me. Uh, I find that with the gray hair, it's just, it's a confidence booster for me. For one thing, people see the gray hair and they associate that with age, but then they see you, they see me and they're like, she don't look like she should be having gray hair because it's just the way you carry yourself. You know, sometimes I wear the red lip. Um, sometimes I put on my, I, yeah, 
I have some short skirts and I just, and some, you know, they, they, you're not supposed to wear that either when you're a certain age, but I got some short skirts and, um, but I don't, I don't think it ages me at all. It's all just a confidence. I, I feel better at 59 and a half than I have in, in probably the last 20, 25 years. So it has nothing to do with the gray hair. Um, my gray hair, I think is really, really healthy. It looks good on me. I feel like it looks good. And as long as I feel like I look good, then I'm going to show that on the outside. So I don't think it ages you. I don't think it brings out any wrinkles any more than anything, than any other color of hair. I don't think it makes you look uh, uh, old and, and brings out any wrinkles or anything more than any other color would. It's just how you carry yourself, what, what, what you're going to wear with it, and how you're going to rock it. It has to be healthy hair to look good so how you rock it that's 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 what's gonna make it pop for you how i feel will show up with my hair um no so i don't think gray hair ages you at all you just gotta know how to how to style it you know the right cut for you that's the right shape that goes with the shape of your face and the makeup that you wear and and the clothes that you wear and the colors that you wear yeah, now, if, if I come out in something that's I'm looking like I'm stuck in a time warp, it's not going to have anything to do with this gray hair. It's going to have something to do with the fact that I need a makeover. Because <laughs> I think about all the time what stuff people say about gray hair. Oh, no, girl, I can't do it. But your hair, you got lots of gray roots. And I see you with your sister lots of hair black. I'm like, but that gray is coming out. So just embrace it. Don't color that. Just keep I'm letting it go out and then it'll, it'll all be gray and it's gonna be really pretty. Oh no, I can't I can't do gray. I'm saying it's not the gray that's gonna make you look oh give me a little makeover. That's what you need. So lastly y'all, let's set some realistic expectations about this whole journey and how you're gonna embrace your hair one gray hair strand at a time. So if you're doing the big chop, of course, there is really no timeline expectations. You're just gonna cut your hair and you're gonna be good. That's gonna be it. If you are that girl who is gonna go cold turkey and stop coloring your hair, the average amount of hair grows about a half an inch per month. So with that being said, your transition could literally take one to three years, depending on if you have that average amount of growth or if your hair goes faster and or if it goes slower. But you can get through that transition a lot faster when your hair gets a certain length to just cut the rest of the color off and then just let the hair grow out from that point. But that would be your decision. Regardless of how you approach this beautiful time in your life, you wanna make sure that you are celebrating every single milestone. First, celebrate the day that you just made the decision to stop coloring your hair. Celebrate that you are embracing this amazing part of your life and that you are moving on to a whole new you. Remember, it's not just about the color, it's about the journey. And lastly, I wanna share with you Sharon's perspective on her expectations of going gray. Oh, my expectations was, I was really just looking for something easy the least amount of maintenance and it still looked good and at first it was like okay well it's gray it was a little bit it was short it was short but i guess not short enough for me um because i used to mold it i used to put the mousse in it and mold it and then tie it down with the strips and get under the dryer and that was cute i was rocking that until you know working out i really want to really 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 work out and so you sweat in the head and so that a little molding would start to lift and that ain't cute so i was like let me cut it a little bit shorter and i was like oh wait i can go shorter and then don't have to mold it oh i think i found what i like this is really easy so then i just we just kept cutting it lower and lower we had like the three guard and then the two and i was like take it to the one and i'm like I don't even I don't even want the hair. I, I like the um, the gray showing. I like the little bit of the color showing. But for me, it's the maintenance. I'm either gonna be healthy and work out, or I'm gonna be a head full of cute hair. 
and that's that's just not going to work for me so my expectations were whatever is easiest for me and that i can do and get up and go because some mornings i have to be at the gym at four in the morning i don't have time to be worrying about no hair so whatever is easiest and it's just finding what works for your hair for your texture for the length and for the lifestyle that you want to live how much time do you want to spend on it or how much time you want to prep at night or how much time you want to spend in the morning that's what made the decision for me but yeah finding i think finding just the perfect style is somebody in your corner to tell you this is what's probably best for your style of hair for your lifestyle for your texture and everything so for me just going that route just a little shorter each time and um i stopped the molding of it i may go back to it a little bit i got a little bit of hair now <laughs> we'll see how i feel tomorrow if i feel like molding it and uh, going back that but no the main it's all about the maintenance and the ease for me that's whatever's easiest that's what i'm gonna rock with and and then it'll be cute because i'm just gonna make it cute if i can encourage uh other ladies on their great journey hmm, i would say really get getting a get in a community and it's easy right now it's easier because you have your instagrams and your facebook followers and you got your go great be chic and you can get in a community and learn from other ladies see what they're doing what works and just somebody there to encourage you that hey this can be still be sexy this can still be you know youthful it's not going to age you and it can still you can still wear different colors whatever you want to wear you can wear whatever colors whatever style if you were rocking your clothes before you were gray you're going to rock it after you're gray wow girl we covered so much ground today so let me know down in the comment section which part of this amazing journey excites you the most when you are making the big choice now that you know how to start your gray hair journey you might be wondering how do you stay inspired and confident on the journey and also how do you handle reactions from others well let me tell you girl that part of this journey is not always smooth sailing so in the next video i'm going to share with you all about how to deal with that as you transition into your next phase of your gray hair journey so girl regardless if your journey is just beginning you are at the middle or you have fully embraced your silvers these videos are game changing, so make sure you stay tuned for what's next. It's all about making your transition as smooth as possible, so don't miss out. If you want a closer connection to us, make sure you download the Go Gray Be Chic Transformational Guide to get you started on your gray hair journey. And if you're looking for a great hairstylist, be a part of something game changing. We're working on a revolutionary hair resource for 2025 and we need your input. Click the link in the description section and or the comment section below and sign up for exclusive updates to shape the future of hair care. Whether you're embracing your grades or loving your color, your voice matters. Don't miss out on this amazing opportunity. So until the next time, guys, take care.